Welcome back to another unboxing and overview. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the ASUS H110i Plus D3 Mini ITX motherboard. Okay, starting off with the external packaging with the typical ASUS description on the front, you have the model name, and then further to the left, you usually get the five guard protection that ASUS gives you, which includes Landguard, a surge protected networking feature. Then you have over voltage protection, stable power supply, overcurrent protection, and of course stainless steel back input output panel. And then moving on to the bottom, you can see you get other features such as USB 3.0, HDMI, and it's Windows 10 ready. Obviously this uh, CPU supports the LGA 1151 socket. On the back of the box, you get a label description of the motherboard's layout. Below that you have the main specifications of this motherboard, starting off with the CPU once again, this is the LGA1151 socket for 6th generation Intel processors. For memory you get two DIMMs that support up to 32 gigs of capacity and for its speed it supports up to 1866 MHz and you only get one PCI expansion slot and this is a PCI Express 3.0 by 16. Now moving on to the unboxing itself and the first thing you'll be greeted with is the motherboard itself in an anti-static bag. If you're like myself and you buy a lot of ASUS motherboards then you will be very very familiar with this typical ASUS packaging. And as always at the bottom hidden away into the box is the SATA cables. This is the typical black and white SATA cables you get from ASUS. One of which has a right angle connector. Then you have your I.O. shield as well for your case and then moving on further into the box you'll get stuff such as your motherboard's manual which is very very important. You get a safety information document and of course another document for your motherboard's layout and you also get your software CD with your drivers and an ASUS sticker as well. So that is pretty much everything in the box, now let's just take a closer look at the motherboard and its features. Starting off with the right side you have your RAM slots as well, like I said before it's only two DIMMs. Then you have your CPU socket and then at the bottom of your RAM slots you have your SATA ports. You get four of them and these are SATA 6 gigabits per second ports. And moving on below that you get your PCI Express by 16, this is 3.0. And then moving on to the back I.O. panel, starting off from the left to the right, you get your PS2 ports for old keyboards and mice. Then you have two USB 2.0, a HDMI, and then moving on further to the right, you have your DVI-D and also your VGA input. And then to the very right, you have your LAN port, two more USB 2.0, your audio input and two USB 3.0. So yeah, that is pretty much everything for the motherboard. If you have any questions, just drop a comment below. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next one.